Here, the question is, given the following fragment of code, how many tests are required for 100% decision coverage? This is the code which we need to analyze, and then we have to select the correct option from these options. Let's first analyze the code and parallelly draw the flowchart to get the answer. First line is, if width is greater than length. Now let's draw the flowchart for it. Since it is a condition, we have represented like this. Second and third line is, then, biggest dimension equals to width. That means, if this condition is correct, biggest dimension equals to width. Since it is a statement, we have to represent it like this. Now let's analyze line 4. If height is greater than width, we have to continue with the same branch. And since it is a condition, we have represent it like this. Now let's analyze fifth and sixth line. Then biggest dimension equals to height. That means if this condition is correct, biggest dimension equals to height. Until now, we analyzed first six line of the code. Now the seventh, eighth, and ninth lines are important. Listen to me carefully. In the seventh line, we have end if. This is the end of if statement in fourth line. For your benefit, I am repeating it again. End if on the seventh line is the end of if statement in fourth line. Now, if you see between if and end if, there is no else statement. That means, if the condition becomes false, we don't have to do anything. Now let's see how to represent it in flowchart. Since nothing is mentioned, we just have to put a line for a false statement. That means, if the condition is true, we will follow this path. If the statement becomes false, we have to follow this path. This part of the code is very important. Many do mistake here. They forget to consider this false part. Now let's consider line number 8 and 9. The else on the 8th line is for condition on line 1. Because this if condition is not yet close. Now let's see where to put it in the flowchart. If this condition is false, biggest dimension equals to length. Now let's focus on line number 10. If height is greater than length, this is a condition, so we have to represent it like this in flowchart. Now let's see line number 11 and 12. Then biggest dimension equals to height. In flowchart, we have to represent it like this. Now let's focus on line 13. Line 13 is end if. This end if is for condition in line 10. And again, since there is not else statement in between, we don't have to do anything. And this is how we have to represent it on the flowchart. Now let's focus on the last line, which is end if. This end if is for the first condition. So this is the place where first condition ends. Now let's move to the flowchart. This is how we have to draw the flowchart. Now, using this flowchart, we have to find out how many tests are required for 100% decision coverage. 
To cover 100% decision coverage, we have to cover both the paths. True path and false path. These are the four tests cases we need to cover all the branches. Therefore, the answer is 4 for this question. Here the question is, you have designed test cases to provide 100% statement and 100% decision coverage for the following fragment of code. That means for this code, test case is available and that test case covers 100% statement coverage and decision coverage. To this code, the following has been added to the bottom of the code fragment above. Now we have to find how many more test cases are required? Let's understand this question clearly. Initially, we had this code. And for this code, we had test cases to cover statement coverage and decision coverage. After that, new code was added. And now we have to find if we need test cases to cover this new piece of code. If yes, then how many new test cases we need? These are the options. A. One more test case will be required for 100% decision coverage. B. Two more test cases will be required for 100% statement coverage, one of which will be used to provide 100% decision coverage. C. None. Existing test cases can be used. D. One more test case will be required for 100 statement coverage. First, we will analyze the code and draw flowchart for it. Line number 1 is a condition. If width is greater than length, we represent condition like this in the flowchart. Now let's see line number 2 and 3. Then, biggest dimension equals to width. Since it is a statement, we have to represent it like this. That means, if this condition is true, this branch will be executed. Now let's analyze line number 4 and 5, which is else biggest dimension equals length. This is how we have to represent it in flowchart. Else means if the condition becomes false, this statement will execute. And the sixth line is end if. That means condition on line number one ends here. This is how we have to draw the flowchart. Now, as per the question, the test cases are already available. But in the test case, it's not mentioned how many test cases are required for 100% statement coverage and decision coverage. So before adding the code, we have to find the number of test cases. It's clear that with two test cases, we can cover both statements and both conditions too. Now let's add the new code at the end. You can see that all these are statement. We can represent these statements like this in the flowchart. If you run the existing test case, new code will be covered with it. That means we don't have to write any new test cases to cover new code. That is why option B is the answer. Here the question is, the diagram represents the following paths through the code. What is the minimum combination of paths required to provide full statement coverage? Here the flowchart is already given. And in this flowchart, the paths are marked as V, 
x, z, w, and y. And a, b, c, and d represents different path combination. And as per the question, we have to find out with which combination In this question, the piece of code is provided, and then these options are provided. Here, we need to find out how many test cases are required to cover statement coverage and branch coverage. To do that, let's first analyze the code and draw the flowchart. Here, line number one, switch PC on, and line number two, Start Outlook are statements. We can represent them like this in the flowchart. Now let's see line number three. If Outlook appears, this is a condition, and we can represent it like this in a flowchart. Since it is a condition, we shall get minimum two outcomes. If line number three is true, then send an email which is line number 4 and 5. And we can represent it In this question, the piece of code is provided, and then these options are provided. Here we need to find out how many test cases are required to cover statement coverage and branch coverage. To do that, let's first analyze the code and draw the flowchart. The first line is, if A is greater than B. Since this is a condition, we have to represent it like this. Second and third line is, then C equals to A minus B. This will execute when condition becomes true. So it will be placed like this in flowchart. Now let's see line number 4 and 5. Else, C equals to A plus B. This statement will be executed when condition in line number 1 fails. So it will be placed like this in the flowchart. Now the line number 6 is important, which is, and if. In this question, we have to find how many test cases are needed to achieve 100% decision coverage, and then these options are provided. To do that, let's first analyze the code and draw the flowchart. First line is, if P equals to Q. Since this is a condition, we will represent it like this. Line number 2 is, s equals to s plus 1. Since it is a statement, we can place it like this. Line number 3. Here the question is, consider the following. Pick up and read the newspaper. Look at what is on television. If there is a program that you are interested in watching, then switch the television on and watch the program. Otherwise, continue reading the newspaper. If there is a crossword in the newspaper, then try and complete the crossword. And then these options are provided. And we need to find out how many test cases are required to cover statement coverage and decision coverage. To do that, let's first analyze the statements and draw the flowchart. Line 1 is, pick up and read the newspaper. And line 2 is, look at what is on television. Both are statement, so we can represent it like this. Line 3 is, if there is a program that you are interested in watching, then switch the television on and watch the program. Here we have a condition and a statement. The condition is, 
if there is a program that you are interested in watching. And the statement is, switch the television on and watch the program. We can represent the Here the question is, given the following code, which is true about the minimum number of test cases required for full statement and branch coverage, and then these options are provided, and we need to find out how many test cases are required to cover statement coverage and branch coverage. To do that, let's first analyze the statements and draw the flowchart. Line 1 is read P. And line 2 is read Q. Both are statements and we can represent it like this. Line number 3 is if P plus Q is greater than 100. It is a condition and we can represent it like this. Since it is a condition, we will have minimum two outcomes. One for true condition and other one for false condition. Line number four, print large, is X. 